Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to my live stream, where we are going to do 10-minute portraits. This is the first 10-minute portrait live stream of the year. And I've just come right from a Zoom session for Let's Face It, right into this live stream. And ah, I've lost connection to my extra camera. OK. Um, I have some background processing of the, um, the live session that I just did. So I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> um, there's something. Um, let me know in the chat if you can hear me. And I'll just, I'll just put Yoko Ono up here <laughs> while I try and figure this out. You can hear me. You can hear me. That's good. We, we'll figure this out together. Um, I have my Zoom room open if people want to come and hang out for a voice conversation as we do this. Um, and yeah, it seems like because Zoom is still processing the meeting I just had to save it, that um, it's causing some kind of uh, trouble <laughs> over um, my YouTube setup. But we'll figure this out and we'll draw together. It'll be great. So this is the first. Uh, First drawn, uh, ten minute drawing, ten minute portrait drawing session of the year, <laughs> and I do these regularly, and I love them. I love sketching with you; it's super fun. Maybe if I change my definition down to seven twenty, it'll it'll be a bit easier for the computer. Um, yeah, I love doing these time drawing sessions. They're so good. They're so so much fun. Such good practice. And um, I really love drawing together with people. So we're going to draw together with you. Atua and Zan are going to be speaking to me. So if you're only hearing one half of the conversation, um, know that perhaps I'm actually talking to people there in, in Zoom, which are also welcome to join. And <clears throat> there are 22 of you here. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let me know where you are. Los Yoko. Yes, I brought it down. I thought I'm here, but we, we could be here together. Here we are, the two of us together. Um, yeah, we are going to do six 10 minute portraits. I'm going to give away one of the portraits and I'll send it anywhere in the world. Uh, all you need to do is put in hashtag I want to win into the YouTube chat for a chance to win. Um, <clears throat> if you're watching the recording, try and join live sometime and you might win uh, a live, uh, an original sketch. I will now see if my computer's gonna let me put up my other camera. Um, I was trying to do this fancy virtual camera thing, um, but it just, my computer seemed subtly overwhelmed <laughs> by, by my request. Um, if things start lagging, I'll have to change the camera setup a bit. Um, and maybe I'll just start at 720p and then I will see when the uh, right. okay so when when the backup of the Zoom meeting is finished, I'll go into high resolution and we're going to draw it. Here's Klaus. I just drew Klaus. It was so cool having Klaus join the Let's Face It meeting. Um, oh, OK. Not happy with that. Then I will do this differently. Thank you for sticking with me to, to figure this out. Oh, um, thank you. The people are saying that you want to win, um, put a hashtag before, and then I, do, I can do this automated thing where it will choose someone choose our winner um i think i'm, I'm just a little mi minorly scattered at the moment because i'm still trying to figure this out but this this looks better this workspace connection looks better um,
Okay, here I am. All right, we'll do it like this. So I thought I was really clever, and right over here I was going to have, because I thought maybe I would use watercolor, I was going to have my palette here, and you'd be able to see what I'm what I'm using on my palette. But um, the computer was not happy, so I put that down. Um, and yeah, if you're wondering about the references, I have been participating in the caricature resolution, which I'm a little bit behind on, um, which is there's a, a set list of, um, of people that uh, are suggested that we draw them and then we just find our own reference. And there's a whole bunch of people doing caricatures of these people or just doing portraits. So here, this is what I was looking for. Um, hashtag, I want to win. You see that down here? That's what you put in the chat. And one of you will win. And I think you have pretty good odds, my giveaways. Um, you have good odds. And I've given a lot of sketches away. Um, OK, now that, now that that's done, with, we can settle in to drawing, sketching. I'm going to work on watercolor paper. I have this, uh, hey, look, I, I have this Hanamula. Uh, toned watercolor paper, which I'm going to work on. <clears throat> um, and for those of you who are in Zoom, you uh, will see what I'm drawing over on YouTube. <clears throat> and cool, got a few. I want to wins in the chat. Excellent. Uh, I'm just going to pop my reference over here. And we're going to do it. So six references today. Um, and I have a timer. They're going to be 10 minutes each. I also thought I was going to have them in my clever little my camera thing on the side here. But um, not at the moment. <laughs> so you just have to believe me. I, I'll show you. I'm going to put the timer on. 10 minutes. Starting now. All right, so who here has drawn Yoko Ono before? Or is there anyone here who is participating in the, um, the caricature resolution? I have found start of year uh, resolutions or challenges to be, to be really a uh, wonderful practice, a nice way to start the year. I know that Luke is doing the heavy January using heavy poly digital uh, painting app to do some amazing work. That's been really cool to see. And the past few years, I have uh, started my year with 30 Faces, 30 Days, which has been really, really awesome. And I have friends who have done the caricature resolution in the past, and I've really enjoyed watching what, what they're working on and um <laughs> luke is holding on for dear life with the daily challenge <laughs> um i have been so anyone who's been watching my instagram will have seen a bunch of watercolor portraits for the caricature resolution and uh, which i did on this paper which is a really nice tone to it um and all of them were to to get me into watercolor mode because i'm i'm filming videos for our watercolor class at the moment um, and maybe once I should take a little breather and I've composed myself I can give you a sneak peek of some of the paintings I've been making um, yeah and it's been it's been really fun and I feel really um, through uh, drawn together which is my almost weekly Thursday show with Shannon Hutton, uh, where we have really inspiring, wonderful guests on. Um, there have been a few guests who do this like mind-blowingly colorful, vivid, amazing work, and just with such confidence. And, and I've been aware that that confidence with color is something that I don't, it's, it's not as strong as my confidence with value. I wouldn't say I don't have it, but um, as Greece so nicely put it, it's just that I'm very restrained with my use of color. Um, and 
doing so much time sketch practice, I thought it would be cool if I could like integrate more color into my, my quick sketches to kind of, like I know if I've got, if I've got hours to work on it, then I'm, I'm, I'm really confident and happy to kind of explore the color. But I thought since I do so much quick stuff, it would be, it would be cool to um, see if I can integrate it in quicker pieces as well. So that's been part of my my own personal challenge, and um, and I'll be sharing that challenge and experience in my upcoming watercolor class. Um, and I'm I'm really I'm learning a lot, and I'm really happy to be able to pass that on through the, the class. It's, it's going to be cool. Um, okay, Robin. Yeah, uh, the the replay. Uh, so I just I just hosted a live sketch session for Let's Face It, um, and the, the recording of it is processing on my computer right now. And after this, I can upload it, and then the replay will be watchable to the Let's Face It participants. Um, we have six minutes left. Oh wow, it's like. Four minutes so far. So in the live session we just did, it was a lot like um, Tuesday sketch sessions, which everyone's invited to. Um, we did one minute, uh, 30 second, one minute, two minute, four minute, and six minute poses. And it's a really great kind of warm up. Um, very, I find that um, my kind of perception of time is very elastic and it kind of expands that after I've done all these quick sketches, it's like, oh wow, 10 minutes is suddenly half an hour compared to uh, if, I, if I don't kind of prime myself by doing quick sketches beforehand. And I was, I was wondering, hmm, maybe I'll just go for it. I was wondering if I'm going to <clears throat> use watercolor or if I would kind of do drawings in this session, which I could then do my watercolor onto, but just go for it. So I'll um, use some color. See what I can do. This is a combination of uh, Faber Castell polychromos pencils, which are not water soluble, thankfully. Um, that's why they're like, great with watercolor. Um, and Schmincke watercolor paints. And anyone who's in Zoom can feel free to talk and speak up, respond to my, my musings. And anyone who's on YouTube, if you can find your way. Um, I had to make it not, not so direct because I've, um, during live streams, I've had Zoom gate crashes. Um, but anyone for future reference who's interested in joining the Zoom room as we do these live streams, um, just let me know. It's nice to have people to hang out. Feel like we're sitting around a table together sketching. <clears throat> Interesting question. Um, so Zan just asked if I feel like I'm just staying one class ahead by learning as I teach. Um, I don't think so. I feel like there are some things where I really, I clearly, like I, I wrote down um, a kind of a loose structure of how I want to go about teaching and the things I want to cover. And and there have been some lessons where it's like, this is what I'm going to do in this class. And then I, I do it and I'm like, yeah, that worked out. <laughs> but I have had uh, uh, one particular class. And it was interesting because I mentioned it when um, Mike, Mike joined us on on Thursday that I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And I was feeling confident and I started working on it. And then at some point I'm just like, what's, this is, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> what's happening here? Um, and, and I thought about starting again, but then I was like, ah, oh. you know, it's really, I feel like it's really valuable as well to, for, for me or for anyone who's having a rough uh, piece of work <laughs> uh, that they're working on. Um, but also for people watching classes, I've, I've had the feedback in the past that to get um, to see someone struggling 
and then see how they figure out how they kind of get out of the mess that they've got themselves into. <laughs> but that can also be really helpful. And I I did manage to get to a place where I was like, oh, this is oh, this is this is good, uh, this is good. <laughs> but then afterwards, I felt like the the process ended up taking much longer than I had anticipated. Um, kind of finding my way back around to to feeling good about it. Um, and then and then I just like shake it out. I was like, okay, for the next one, I need to go way looser. I felt like I was, it, it had just become too kind of stiff in the process. And and then I created a piece, uh, really vibrant and colorful, where there's the water is just kind of like, the watercolor is as much a part of the, the piece as anything else. Like it's really, I felt like I had been too stiff in this one piece, which took too long, like that. And um, and when I showed Mike, he's, he referred to it as a ac more academic style of painting. And then um, and then to kind of break out from that, I was just like, oh, I've got to, I've got to loosen up. I, I've got to make it more sketchy and more kind of vibrant. And and that was really interesting because then I feel like I made like a a piece that I really really like. Um, and I like the other one, but it doesn't have the same kind of like, wow. It was more like a, I go through the struggle to get it done. <laughs> and I, I feel like that's an interesting, it'll be an interesting thing to share. I hope that will be of value to people to see as well. Um, but with that kind of, it felt like a breakthrough piece, the one that then was really like alive. And I felt like, oh, wow, I think that is something which is actually going to like inform the rest of the class, like having having that experience as I was filming of being like, whoa, what's, what am I doing? <laughs> um, and then kind of catching it and turning it into something I was happy with. Like, I think that will now, because um, I'm, I'm still still filming the lessons. Um, I think that's going to be a really interesting aspect. And uh, so I still have my kind of outline of things that I, I, I wrote down that I'm, I'm aiming to convey. Um, but now I feel like it's, it, more alive than just kind of that um, premeditated class plan I had written down. So that's really, I feel like really interesting. That was 10 minutes. Um, the news memorandum, JJ is here, cool. Uh, 10 minutes with your book and all. Um, pigeons, Louisa's pigeons are here in the Zoom room. <laughs> no. Love their soothing cooing. Don't mute. It makes me feel like I'm somewhere with pigeons. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, flirting with your feet. I something I have realized. Oh, I had I had the list I had it written down. Can someone in the chat tell me who this is? Um, Something I've realized with the caricature resolution is there are big holes in my knowledge of popular culture. That um, there was a phase of my life when I was like uh, still at school and university where I, I really consumed a lot of pop culture and a lot of films. And But names come up in the caricature resolution prompt list and I'm just like, who's this person? Because I, I feel like I haven't watched any movies for at least a decade. I don't know. Octavia Spencer, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, just, I, it turns out that I, I have a lot of uh, black and white photos that we're going to be working from. Um, Octavia Spencer, thank you everyone for letting me know. Um, and you could tell us what has Octavia Spencer been in? I'm presuming she acts. <laughs> um, what, what, yeah, what has she been in? Obviously, I don't know. Uh, let us know. Okay, so 10 minutes. With Octavia Spencer. Ten minutes, go. So yeah, I was kind of thinking because I I'll take a little break at some point and show uh, maybe after this one and show some of the caricature resolution sketches uh, pieces that I've done. Um, and I was thinking this live stream could be a really good opportunity to catch up <laughs> on the days I've been missing out on because I've been filming the class. 
and some of them, like maybe the Yoko Ono one, I could um, spend some more time uh, developing. So it's just like a, a loose 10 minute beginning and then maybe I will find the time to to work into it some more. No, I don't think I could use, I don't know, it'd be kind of weird, I think. <laughs> The, the references I'm using in my watercolor class are all people that I have contacted, um, and they're all artists in some way or another. Um, and yeah, I've reached out to them, been like, hey, I'm making a class. Um, would you be cool with me using your reference photo? And everyone who responded said yes. <laughs> um, so that's really cool. And I, and I like being in touch with these people. And I think if I if I wrote to celebrities, a lot, firstly, all of the images available on the internet are probably like copyrighted and stuff. Um, and if I just randomly wrote to someone with 14 million followers on Instagram and said, hey, can I sketch you for my class? Um, I don't know if they'd get my message. <laughs> But yeah, the ones I did in the first half of January, I felt like they really, um, they were really great to get back in the zone. Uh, I did teach in a 30 faces, 30 days watercolor a couple of years ago. And that, that was a really cool, um, and watercolor was actually when I, when I was 28 and started to uh, take art seriously. Um, watercolor was my first medium of choice. So it's, it's extra interesting to return to it after um, spending so many years working with oil and then ink. Um, yeah, and I, it's, I feel like it's really interesting what I've learned from other mediums and just from the, the time and experience doing all this, uh, so many years of, of working on it. The help, the help was a good one. All right, I will check out the help eventually. My, actually, it has an interesting kind of correlation to when I decided to um, focus my attention on getting uh, better at art. <laughs> that I, um, I can, uh, that's probably when I stopped consuming so much pop culture actually. So many films and, like I used to really uh, regularly, like when I was at university, I regularly went to the cinema and um, yeah, we'd watch a lot. But um, yeah, it was, it's been 12 years since I decided to um, focus on art. So most of the stuff that happened it's interesting because recently, um, like in a lot of the 10 minute portraits actually, uh, or listening to podcasts, uh, when I did the music month and where I did a 10 minute portrait live stream every day, um, I, I kind of opened up to encountering and exploring new music and it's, it's been really cool. Um, some artists that people suggested or people that I've heard speaking on podcasts, it's, um, and interestingly, also social media, like Reels and TikTok, how you can add music to your to your time lapse that has um, those fifteen second clips of songs has also actually exposed me to like more recent music and stuff. Because otherwise, I just had like my my set, the music that I I really. I had my go-to music and um, I hadn't really discovered much new stuff for a long time. Uh, I feel like at the moment, before I put any watercolor on this, I need to establish the value a bit more so that the, the strength of the drawing, like the likeness is a bit off, but it's okay. Um, I really want the, the, the line work of the drawing to shine through in, in any watercolor I put over it. And we've got four and a half minutes left. 
And by the way, if you are sweating trying to keep up with the 10 minute time frame, <laughs> feel free to just um, take a screenshot and uh, just keep working on the one portrait. That's that's cool too. Everyone can do what they want. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, you could pause it. Or you could put it on replay and watch it like five times and then I get more watch hours. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of such things, algorithmical things, if you um, if you hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe, comment, those things are apparently good for the channel. I have heard that. I've watched a few YouTube videos, and, but I, I often notice that, like, I'll be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't tell anyone to do those things. It's still nice. People do it anyway. But sometimes when you tell people to, you feel like, oh, boom, 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 boom. oh, look at all those thumbs up. But if people like it, they like it. So there's part of me which is also resistant to um, doing what we're supposed to do to be good users of the algorithm and stuff. But I do also want my channel to grow and to people see my videos and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, I really liked it when I um, did my natural ink class. I I liked that I was using technology. It's amazing technology um, to share things and encouraging people to go outside. <laughs> and um, that that was really cool to get away from the screen to to forage and make your own inks and it was nice and it was also the feedback I got from a lot of people that were like oh so so happy to get outside because that was also 2020 and a lot of people just kind of spent a lot of time at home all right it's a minute and 40 seconds left plenty of time to paint <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go, the lizard and crimson. The cool thing about working from black and white photos is um, if you, because it's just reduced to value information, um, that you just focus on getting the values right, and it doesn't really matter what color you use. If you get the value relationship right, then it's going to look. It's going to look good. Like, it's just about value relationship. And that's a really interesting thing to be aware of. When choosing colors, you're like, okay, just make it dark and then it'll be recognizable as the face, or the hair around the face, or whatever. And not to feel too overwhelmed by color choices, but just to focus on value. Establishing value, which is how dark or light it is, in case it's not trying to tell. Ah, oh, I just want to focus on the hair, but there's only 30 seconds left. <laughs> um, ah, oh, what color? I don't know. Oh, turquoise. Sap green is kind of is almost turquoise, right? Um, all right, maybe I'll just. Oh, maybe could have kept the teeth clear, but um. But I can also return to this and spend more time in it. This will be like my my foundation to continuing. Because ten minutes are up. But. It's my live stream, and <laughs> if I want to uh, 
spend another 40 seconds, then you're allowed to as well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but if, if you put in hashtag I want to win and you win and you're like, Dylan, I like it just how it is, unfinished, then um, let me know. But I, I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna go and finish these all right after this last live stream because I'll be going to bed. So um, there's no sense of urgency. But yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's get going. She has fascinating hair. Yeah, this is some amazing hair. All right. Thank you, Octavia. It's been a pleasure. Oh, I said I'd take a little break and show you some of the things I've been doing um, with watercolor. Ah, uh, oh, this was really cool. This was um, from Drawn Together last week. Uh, Daniel Arthur. Um, I really like June. In the last 12 years, June is the movie that I have seen. Childish Gambino was super fun. And I also got to know the This Is America music video and song, which was amazing. Diana Ross, love the hair. Gigi Hadid, I don't know who that is, but um, I, I like this painting. Uh, Stephen King, those are some of the paintings I've done for caricature resolution. And now, <laughs> Elvis. Um, I actually, I, I had chosen other reference for Elvis um, from some of his last uh, last photos because I wanted like a more recent Elvis, and so I got this one. And I'd really like to work on this one, but we're going to work work on young Elvis. I don't know why, but that's what we're going to do. We could do both, but this is a bit complicated with StreamYard. I need to make a PDF of the images we're going to look at, and it's not in the PDF. Yeah, here's a sneak peek of the other references we'll be doing. Um, we could do it on the stream. That'd be interesting. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like go through a whole lifespan, just focus on one person. Oh, yeah, like the faces of Stormay. That was really fun. But like go from baby to prime to decline. Um, <laughs> that would be interesting with Elvis. Uh, yes, people are saying, I want to win, uh, which is great. And some of those names saying, I want to win, I, I know that you've been to my Zoom room before. If you want to just hang out in Zoom, um, feel free. You know the way. And put in that hashtag, I want to win, and um, someone will win. Uh, oh, go away, hashtag. Um, I'll take another pause at some point and show you a sneak peek of um, some of the pieces I've been doing for the upcoming class. Um, let's draw Elvis, baby Elvis. Any Elvis fans? A little. Ten minutes. Oh, I've got. <laughs> this will be interesting. We're young Elvis up on the screen, but now I've got um, Final Days Elvis on, on my reference. So, um, which one should I do? I'll do the one that's on the screen. Um, all right, ten minutes. use if the reference is up and I'm just talking feel free to use the extra time <laughs> if there's a delay zoom has a bit of a delay I don't know exactly what is in my uh, description <laughs> um, 
I don't know if my mailing list isn't there, but if you if you're interested in my upcoming watercolor class, then jump on my mailing list and be sure to be following my me on Instagram if you are on Instagram. Won't be live until March, but um, I'll be planting the seed of its existence in people's awareness leading up to its uh, its release. So. It's 15 faces it's going to be, which is also quite um, quite a lot of faces. What's, what's 24? Oh, um, let's face it. It's uh, yeah, let, let's face it is like the, the year long class and the watercolor class I'm doing is uh, going to be a solo class where it's, um, it's not uh, 26 different teachers, it's, it's all me doing 15 different portraits. Yeah. So the, the Cara Bullock Art School, the I'm not sure, maybe it's like the, the, the flagship uh, is Let's Face It, which is a really cool year-long uh, portraiture class taught by 26 different artists. Um, I am one of them. And Kyra also uh, has on the Kyra Bullock Art School uh, a whole bunch of solo classes uh, taught by individual artists. Um, she's coordinating and doing a lot. <laughs> And that's really amazing uh, artists sharing their work there. So it's really cool. Let's face it, it's a cool way to learn because there are um, so many different teachers sharing a range of different approaches to portraiture. Yeah. It's like a, a buffet, so you can kind of pick and choose. I, I don't. I'd be amazed if, if anyone is doing watercolor. Uh, I mean, I, I just read it in the chat. <laughs> but if anyone's doing, let's face it, or has done in the past and has done every week, uh, let me know. That would be amazing because it's uh, already behind <laughs> a month in. Yeah, but I think um, even if. If people are falling behind, not, not getting everything done, there's still it's just such a a wealth of things to choose from, and there are um, particular artists who I'm also like. Um, ideally, I'd love to also watch every lesson and and work along with it. Um, yeah, I I I, I think. Uh, every all the teachers have like access to the whole class, so, um, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure we've um because I've been getting emails saying, "Hey, next class, check this out." Ah. <coughs> <sighs> RGA met, did last year, did every class. That is amazing. 52 weeks. Um, that's amazing. <laughs> it was stressful, but you learned a lot. That's a good, good kind of stress. Um. <laughs> Linda started everyone. They've only finished one so far this year, but that's good. I, I once heard someone say, start often and finish well. <laughs> uh, that's a good way to learn. So you don't have to finish everything. You can start a lot of things. And, um, and when you choose to finish, then, then finish well. That was very nice advice for me because I, I was just like starting so many different things. And Kira, my wife, who is very good at getting things done, um, to be like, you're going to finish any of these things you're starting? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but then I, I kind of shifted my, um, my practice into doing quicker things. <laughs> um, but yeah, and that, that, was, that was like early on kind of in my learning phase where I had this dr the, the ideal vision of what it was I wanted to make and then I just didn't have the, the skills to be able to realize it. Um, and so I would spend a lot of time trying to figure it out and then at some point just kind of leave it in the, the not finished basket of projects. <laughs> just don't even get started. Okay, acquiring the materials, it's, it's almost like getting the work done. <laughs> if, if, the materials are, if the materials are there, then the potential for these things to happen is also there. And maybe, maybe it will get them. <laughs> the infinite void of potential is, is lined with art supplies. Here, here's the screen. Green, you want to zen? Elvis. Elvis gets the green. <laughs> Looks like a Vulcan in a good way. <laughs> oh, that's 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 cool, Ronnie. Um, a few years ago, started everyone and gave yourself permission to not do the ones you didn't like. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, just um, just focusing on the ones where it feels like, oh, this is whatever speaks to you. I imagine. But um, I'm, I'm extra impressed by people who um, did every class because I know just from 30 day events, uh, challenges, that sometimes, um, you know, life happens. Like uh, me with the caricature resolution, it's like uh, I've actually got to work on uh, some other things and I spend a lot of time with my kids. And, and so it's, it's tricky to always make time to to get those challenges done. Um, now should they have a green? Should they have a different color? That is a green. <laughs> this one is called May Green. I look forward to the green of May. A minute left. Ah, oh, the color sugar is heavy. Christmas red. <laughs> um, I have a warm red here. It's not really Christmassy. I feel like Christmas red is a bit cooler, but you know, this is a nice red. This is quinacridone red light. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm happy to uh, to just accept accept the challenge. If you're trying to throw a spanner in my works, <laughs> then I'll see what I can do with that spanner and um, and, and try it make, try and make it work. Yeah, it's a tool. Oh, five seconds left. Okay, that's going to need some extra time, but that's my my ten minutes with Elvis. Um, yeah, but this is when I, I definitely I can see the potential to keep keep building upon this. But that's our uh, ten minute strong start. This is an interesting way to kind of start pieces. To be like, give myself ten minutes. If I feel good after ten minutes, I'll keep going. I don't. I don't have another. Yet to be determined time. Um, this is today's. Oh, actually, since my fancy setup is not working, I could bring up the list of names. Um, Eric Cantona. 
Um, I was going to use my phone as like an extra screen to show my palette, but that's not working. So I, I just realized I can read the names. Um, Eric Cantona, who is this person? Guru, Guru Nadam, you know Cantona. Can you tell us about this person? Uh, this is my favorite reference that I found of Eric Cantona. I really like the, the perspective, super interesting shapes. A French footballer. Cool. Um, hmm. I'll start the drawing with a blue pencil. This is a bluish turquoise polychromos pencil. <clears throat> Manchester and France. Um, Haha, <laughs> cool, Linda. That's great. All right. Ten minutes. Now. Yeah, really cool thing about doing this challenge. Um, most people who are doing it uh, are really doing uh, leaning into the caricature side of things. It's called the caricature resolution. And I'm aware of it because of friends who are caricature artists. And although I don't, sometimes there's some kind of quirky distortion to the way I draw things. And I'm not really considering what I'm doing to be caricature, but it's, it's fun checking Instagram each day and seeing like all the work people have done of the same face, but different to let's face it. And, um, a bit low. Different to Let's Face It and 30 Faces, 30 Days. It's the same face, but it's a lot of different references people are working from. So that's really interesting to see. And because it's caricature, there's some pretty wildly distorted <laughs> uh, portraits. Um, the exaggeration. I remember when we had uh, Chance McGee on John together. Uh, he's a, a great caricature artist. I hope I'm going to get the chance to actually meet up with him this year because he lives in Dresden. Um, that there's a, a term in caricature when caricature artists are drawing each other, they're like the most extreme because they they, they know they can take it, and so that they'll they'll beast each other, and they'll do drawings which are just really pushing the boundaries. Um, whatever those boundaries may be. Uh, and that was really interesting to hear that within like caricature culture, there's, uh, they really, really push it and go hard with each other <laughs> in, in their exaggeration and distortion. Yeah, yeah, there is. They have their, their own award show every year. Uh, ISCA, which must be the International Society of Caricature Artists, um, every year. I think each year it's in a different location, um, and once a year they'll they'll have like a convention. I don't know if it's a week long, but they just like have a bunch of workshops and people just drawing each other all the time. And, um, Jess Rochello once joined us uh, in a Tuesday drawing session from Las Vegas, and she was at the uh, convention and um, there are a whole bunch of people there and it was just super fun to to draw her at the convention with a bunch of other people chance was there too big al and patricia did patricia go too I'm not just saying that you're amazed by Sunday how many people have, have done the class in Let's Face It. So I'm not entirely sure how many people, I may be mistaken, I think there's maybe like 1,500 people participating in Let's Face It. I'm not sure where I got that information from. <laughs> but yeah, seeing, it's, it's really great. Whatever the challenge is, caricature resolution, or let's face it, um, just seeing the work people have put in. Whew. 
creating together. It's uh, such a cool thing to do. And if you're sharing the work that you're doing during this live stream, um, you can use the hashtag uh, drawing with Dylan and also 10 minute portrait for the 10 minute portrait live streams. I still have that somewhere. I had an overlay banner that said, no, it's not on here. Some behind the scenes stuff. Um, I like this drawing. Maybe we've got more than five minutes left. I can just start painting into it. Hmm. I'll go with that warm red that's still on the brush. I really like about this paper that it's um, that it has uh, a warm tone, kind of like beige paper. I'm not working from it in the watercolor class that I'm making. I thought about it, but it's um, I can't get it like in a gummed block, which I like to use because it, it prevents some of the warping that you get with watercolor paper. Um, but I have also found that it's been really fun working with white paper, just the vibrancy of the white shining through is uh, it's also really cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and what would you um, like use gouache maybe to mm -hmm. I have a watercolor, not, not watercolor, I have a, a white polychromos pencil, um, but the paint needs to be really dark to even be able to see it. So it's like, um, it, it's, it's, I've noticed it's good in beards. If it's like a, a black beard that has some silver hairs, um, then if I go really dark with the watercolor, then the, the white pencil will come through. But otherwise, it's just kind of too faint to use for high, highlights. Yeah. So how did you like um, having Micon being, being a gouache fa fan yourself? <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, wow. Cool, cool. Yeah, your neck of the woods. Oh, that's cool. I would love you to, to go to one of his classes and then you can... <laughs> I was gonna say that you can tell, you can you can teach teach me everything you learn, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't know him, being a, a gouache artist, that's... Uh... Oh, cool, I'm, I'm happy we... Yeah, it, it was a really amazing session. I felt like it was just, I think he's, he must, he's such a good teacher, like just from that conversation and one podcast that I've listened to. I just feel like it was such a download of information and uh, experience. <laughs> yeah, well, the replay's there. Anyone interested can catch catch the replay. 
yeah, I feel I, I have the, the the vision at some stage to go through the Drawn Together episodes and to, um, hey, Shannon is here, Shannon's here. Um, yeah, to, to, to make uh, shorter clips, like take out some of the, the the nuggets of wisdom or the funny things and just make them into shorter clips. And like the, I said to Shannon after talking to Mike, it was like it's like a masterclass just hearing him like talk it through, through all this stuff. And what a what an incredible opportunity that we just get to talk to all these artists and hang out. And it's cool. <laughs> Bigger brushes are cool. Um, yeah, there are a few artists. I think Greg Manchus was one, although he does use a lot of different size brushes. He's really incredible. Love to have Greg on someday. Um, the other thing of using a tool that's too big for the job. <laughs> Um, really makes, like, forces you to make really interesting decisions and um, there's a really interesting character that comes through in the mark making. And yeah, that's really cool to see in his, like, he just does it so, so amazing. Shannon, you can, um, and, and everyone can come to Zoom if you like. Zoom is open as well. 10 minutes are up. This needs, so at this point, I would do a little. Like I, I come back in with the pencil and like kind of push some of the definition. Maybe I'll just do a little bit with my magenta. Like some of the the darker areas, just a bit more uh, definition and contrast. Bonus time here. <laughs> Ah, the, the line between the lips, that's that's missing. Okay, that's like almost enough for now. So 10 minutes plus. Um, okay, here is the sneak peek of the um, the work that I'm doing for the class. Um, I'll just show you an intermission. Keep drawing if you want. But this this is what I've been working on. Um, oh, here's Mike from Thursday. Um, so this is the most recent one. Um, I'll just kind of I won't tell you what order they're in. I'll just kind of flip through and you can guess. But these I've each. Uh, I've made a, a tutorial video for each of these that will be part of the class and um, talk through the entire process, the challenges, and um, in different videos kind of focusing on, on different things and with a lot of amazing reference from really cool uh, artists and friends. So those are the paintings I've been doing. That's the intermission. That's the sneak peek. Um, Let's keep drawing. Ah, Shannon is waiting to get into the room. Uh, Rosario Dawson is also someone who must have achieved some sort of fame in the last 12 years. <laughs> because uh, I don't really know who Rosario is. But people in the chat can, can inform me Tell me if there is a definitive film that I should watch. Uh, she does what? TV, maybe. I know nothing. <laughs> uh, hashtag I want to win if you want to win one of these original sketches. Uh, what's the film? I don't know. I don't know. Is there a film? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we have 
Hi, hi Shannon. We have two references left. I don't know. Okay. There's a good reason to have anything to do with Texas. Texas. Oh, no. Look in the corner. I can I can put Eric in the corner here. Blurry, out of focus. Just adding a little little bit of visual interest to my YouTube frame. <clears throat> She's been in so many good movies. Do I like drama or comedy? Ah, oh, both. Um, maybe drama. Maybe I'd go to drama first. But if it's really funny, then comedy. Um, all right, let's draw. Ten minutes. I'll use this bluish turquoise again. How's everyone doing? I'm good. I'm tired, but good. Went to a so um, the Blade Runner actor. The litmus test guy. She was in, she was in Rent, and it's Ryan Gosling's one. Seven pounds. Cool, thank you for these recommendations. Thank you for your support and my ambition to fill the holes in my pop culture awareness. Okay, Star Wars. Clerks. She was in Clerks too. Clerks, Kevin, Kevin Smith, right? Yeah, it's not somewhere with Clerks. That, that's Kevin Smith, right? Like Jay and Silent Bob. Sin City, I've seen that. Although, uh, is that Frank Miller? Violent fascist Frank Miller. <laughs> yeah. Um, during the Occupy Wall Street uh, movement, Frank Miller was like pretty angry about the people who were participating and demonstrating and stuff. And I, I'm sure I've talked about this. Maybe we talked about it with Camilo, but it was like hearing about Frank Miller and his kind of his attitude towards um, certain things. Um, maybe realize, oh, there was. One of the Batman movies was basically Batman versus Occupy Wall Street. Because Batman, Bruce Wayne, is of course one of the 1%. And, uh, and then Bane got like this arena full of people, like the 99%, um, and that they were all like the bad chaotic people and then bad, Batman had to come in and bust up the party. And um, yeah, that was interesting. 
And that was that was like the first time I was really acutely aware while watching a thing like, oh wow, this is propaganda, which a lot of cinema is. Um, but yeah, Frank Miller, Batman. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I remember um, it's Alan Moore the author of The Watchmen and, oh, what was that? That was a really cool comic of his. I can't remember what it was called, but I really liked it. Um, and they, they kind of had like a an, an open letter battle, if, if I recall correctly, where Alan Moore was in support of the Occupy Wall Street movement and then Frank Miller was like, get a job, get back to work. And, um, and it was interesting to have these big two, uh, two big like comic creator personalities who were um, on different sides, were very, very different. Like if you're familiar with their storytelling, um, very different attitudes and perspectives on the world. What's the Bill of Rights? Ah, ah. Heard of, heard of those amendments. So amendments means they changed it, right? So there was a Bill of Rights and they're like, that's not right. We're going to make an amendment. Okay. It's interesting. I'm, there are certain things in um, American politics that I am quite aware of um, because the decisions made have uh, huge impacts on the rest of the world. But there are also things that holds in my knowledge there too. <laughs> I was just about to say. Maybe I'd have to be uh, an American to be familiar with these things, but it's just got a comment from Zoom joined the American public being unfamiliar with the, <laughs> with the way things work. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their pet favorite amendments. Could you tell that to me? Ah, oh, the right to free speech. Oh yeah, freedom to assemble. And so it's interesting because um, I, I grew up in so-called Australia um, and there is no free speech in Australia. Like, um, and there's been a really interesting thing that's happened uh, in, in recent years where a, a YouTube comedian has been revealing the corruption of certain Australian politicians and he was taken to court and turned out um, that he he was not in the wrong to be <laughs> revealing the corruption. And there was this big issue because it's like, oh, there's no freedom of speech. Politicians are actually protected. Um, and there was this like old law that like you're not allowed to say bad things about uh, politicians and it, or something like that. And it's a bit like, oh, wow, what if they're totally corrupt and you're not allowed to talk about it. Um, okay, oh yeah. Freedom to practice religion. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh really? Allowed to form militia. Okay.
How many moments are there? Ten. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the obscure amendments. I was I was gonna try and just like in the last ten seconds uh, get in some skin tone, but I decided against it. I just uh... oh yeah, this lady's name is Rosario Dawson. So if you're sharing on Instagram, um, tag me. Feel free to tag these celebrities. I can't vouch for whether they will see these <laughs> sketches or not, but some of mine. Um, it's an interesting thing in the caricature resolution to be sketching uh, supposedly recognizable faces. And it's funny when I then, I'm like, oh, who is this person who I don't know? <coughs> and I look up. Sometimes on Instagram, I just look for a reference. I'm like, oh, this person has 14 million followers. <laughs> I don't know who they are. And it's um, it's interesting to discover people who have followerships that are larger than some countries. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The time is up, but I'm just um, like, yeah, establishing some of the contrast, the areas, so I can feel happy to to stop. Here's another one, which feels like a good start. Could do some more time, but that was ten minutes. Um, thank you. For the people saying things in the chat, <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying watching my work. It's it's nice to be here, uh, working with you. We have one one sketch left of someone who I am aware of, um, and is a very important person. <laughs> Robin, that's interesting. I hope I don't insult someone with what my rendition was. That is a very interesting thing because. It's something that we have sometimes in our direct experience where if we're drawing someone, oh, hey, can I draw you and you show them? And, or maybe you draw them and you're thinking like, well, it doesn't look like that person. And it's a thing we're talking about sometimes with people that <clears throat> it may be that people look at it and are like, is this how you see me? <laughs> and, um, and it's actually more to do with our, uh, where we're at, our skill level, our practice. And it's not necessarily about how we see the person. But the more we practice, then, um, then the closer we can get to maybe having it look like a person or that particular person even. Um, the more we practice, the less we care coming from the Zoom corner. That's, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, cool, Robin. Yeah, one of the painting paintings. Yes, so um, I was just going to say Nelson Mandela. Um, it's a really lovely portrait. There are so many wonderful references of um, this wonderful person. So we're going to finish um, today's drawing session with this portrait of Nelson Mandela. Um, very, very topical uh, with um, the, the important ICJ case that South Africa has uh, yeah, brought to the world. 10 minutes, starting now. <clears throat> oh, I just checked the time. I thought I'd be finishing 20 minutes ago. I'm like, yeah, 10 minute portraits, six references will be done in an hour. <laughs> um, 
because I was thinking maybe I'd go a bit longer on this one because I, I know that I want to spend more than 10 minutes. But um, I should get to bed after this. <laughs> but once, I, once I'm finished, I will um, bring up the sketches from this session and, and have a look. And I will announce the winner of the giveaway. So between now and then, it's your last chance to put in hashtag I want to win in the chat. And you may win one of these portraits. Uh, yeah. Yeah, very, very charming. There are so many nice uh, reference reference photos. And what what an amazing, uh, important like life's work. It's. Uh, I guess plenty to be smiling about. It's interesting, as I was looking for, through the reference images, I found um, <coughs> photos of young Nelson Mandela as well. That was really interesting to see because uh, I had not seen them before. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure how old was he when he was in jail. Um, <laughs> I, lo I looked that up. So the question, what's the Mandela effect? Um, because I saw that uh, on someone's caricature resolution post, they were talking about the Mandela effect, and I had to look it up because I didn't know. And it's when people have a shared inaccurate memory. <laughs> and and in the where, where I I read up on it, I said that the this person was sure that um, Nelson Mandela had died in the eighties, and then they were at a party and they heard someone talking about it, and I think it was like two thousand. When was it? It was definitely not the eighties, like maybe two thousand thirteen or something when he passed away, and. Um, and um, when they heard this, they were like, what? Didn't he like die in the 80s? And then it turned out there was just a whole bunch of people that all had the shared false memory. And um, it was really interesting um, on this website because it, it went to list a bunch of um, like collective false memories, like these really common inaccurate memories that people share. And that is the Mandela effect, like a collective of people all having a false memory. That is a weird, a weird thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I, I only, I only heard about it for the first time this week. So um, that's that had I had that name out for him. It would be like if the Mandela effect was. Um, the, the bringing of um, of justice to uh, the oppressed peoples of the world. Um, that, that would be a great thing to have named after you, but weird to have something about collective wrong memories. But I don't, th yeah, I don't think that's having that strange effect named after, after him is definitely not his main legacy. <laughs> Well, was anyone in the chat aware of that before right now, that that was a thing? And Shannon, how, how, how had you, you had just heard about it, but didn't know what it was? Oh, wow.
Yeah. Okay, the trust effect. It's not like a fractal, but the thing exists within the thing. Mm. It's different than the marketing of the box of cocoa. Salty cocoa with chili in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, chocomole. Yeah, like um, avocado and uh, cocoa, cacao. All right, three minutes left. <laughs> okay, so what are you sorry about? Uh, so, sorry, Nelson. Um, in case anyone joined late and is not sure who I'm talking to, uh, or if you're watching the replay, um, when I do these sessions, I have my Zoom room open and people can hang out and chat with me, which is uh, super fun. Anyone who is kind and not a gate crashing troublemaker is welcome to join. <laughs> You're not a gate crasher. <laughs> ah, minute and a half left. Is it time to paint? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's good. Ah, oh yes, I have actually seen you were talking about that. I was that interesting about the um the bower bird, and I have seen a bower of a bower bird. Yeah, in real life. Um, and I was visiting a friend. Uh, near Nimbin, and they had a bower bird in the garden who had built this amazing little bower. And it was like just behind their veggie patch. And look down, and I was like, oh wow. And they clear, clear the space, and they make this really amazing kind of archway and fill it with blue stuff, <laughs> whatever blue things they can find. And they are, so they're really famous for collecting trash. Um, and decorating their their um, their stage with trash, and I wonder what they use before people came along and started littering, um, because there's not so much blue stuff around. Bef before people were littering, so it'll be like clothes pegs and big pen lids and uh, wrapping from. Uh, bubblegum packets or what, whatever, and I just grab all this stuff and decorate with it. And it's it's really it's 
It's quite an amazing little display. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Everyone finished? Um, oh, there were, there were some things I wanted to talk about, because this I have a, a new addition to my streaming setup, um, which is I had been, I would like to know if you think my workspace is a better picture quality than it has been in the past, because I realized I had been streaming at a lower quality than my camera was capable of, but I needed an extra doodad, <laughs> an extra gadget to be able to capture the full, <laughs> to be able to capture the full like quality of the camera. And now I have that extra gadget. Um, and another, can't see the difference. I can, because I, I would often be kind of discontent with the quality of it, knowing that I have a pretty good camera. And then I would look at the replay of the live stream and be like, it's a bit blurry, eh? but um, oh, <laughs> your screen is still okay. It might not be me. It could be your filthy screen. <laughs> um, and another thing which is new since uh, since the last time I did one of these streams is I I now have a commissions page on my website, which um, Zan inspired. Thank you, Zan. Um, you just like showed me your commissions page and uh, it was like, you could do something like this. And it's something I was kind of thinking about. It has been, it's been tricky for anyone interested in purchasing my work. I, I make it hard to do because, because it was, I, I didn't have really uh, anywhere where you could find out about it. Um, but yeah, I have a commissions page. I have also been uploading some available work, and actually, all of my work is available. So, if anyone's interested in anything I've made, um, feel free to ask. Because I'm, I'm happy to sell it all. Um, and yeah, now it's time to announce the live stream winner. I'm going to stop. I'd like to keep going, but I'm going to stop. So, thank you so much, Nelson Mandela, for being our muse, and to everyone else who was our muse. Um, I'll bring out. Oh, this is this is cool. <clears throat> I really like how Yoko Ono turned out. <clears throat> I like the wateriness in the hair. So that was the first and the last drawing portrait of this session. And now <clears throat> I will select the winner of the giveaway. So thank you for joining me. I just need to find the place where I can do it, which is a challenge every time. Um, so this is the last chance. Put it to the chat, hashtag I want to win. And I would love to see your work. So if you are sharing on uh, Instagram, tag me. Um, I'm also on TikTok and Facebook, uh, if, but most active on Instagram. StreamYard's giveaway tool is what I want. Um, I'd love to know if there was a particular reference that you, if you most enjoyed, what was the, your favorite thing we worked on today, what was particularly challenging, uh, let me know, either in the live chat or in the comments if you're watching the replay. Um, this was fun. It felt really, it felt good having done an hour of sketching beforehand. And yeah, we did 30 second, one minute, two minute, four minute, six minute poses for an hour for the Let's Face It crew um, just before coming in to do this live stream. So it was like, I was warmed up with my sketching. Hashtag. I want to win. You like Yoko. I like I like these kind of things. The the blooming and here that there's like some ultramarine and alizarin crimson kind of converging. Um, let me 
Let's see, where am I? Here. So, I will now, yeah, thanks, thanks. I'm glad people had fun. Um, I'll hit the giveaway button and see. So whoever wins, I will send it wherever you are in the world. Um, and ideally, probably via uh, Instagram, um, send me a, a private message, a direct message, and tell me which is your favorite. Erica Goodman. Hooray! Are you still here, Erica? Um, Erica Goodman won today's giveaway. So you can choose one of the sketches. And, um, and it's yours. And Linda, I'm glad you love the idea of trying to sketch fast, right? Isn't it? Isn't it cool? Like when I first started doing fast sketches, so I'll bring up the other sketches that I did just now. Um, I used to always think, okay, I need hours. If I'm going to make something, I need, I need a lot of time to do it. <laughs> Get in the zone, maybe spend an hour on Facebook first. Um, I'd like sit up my workspace with a, a vision and then get distracted. And uh, so I, I needed a lot of time. This is when I had the, the luxury of um, of not having kids to continue a lot of my time. That ha having kids made me much more focused and productive with my time. Um, and yeah, I, I used to think I need lots of time to get to do anything. And, and starting this kind of practice, I realized like, oh, it's sometimes there can be something really expressive and wonderful that can happen in a, in a really short space of time. Um, yeah, so doing this practice, oh, I like this green in Elvis's mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that was fun. Erica is here. Cool, cool. Yes, contact me on Facebook. Yes, yes. Um, I will get your message. So yeah. Eric, you can tell me which one is your favorite on Facebook. And thank you to everyone who joined. Um, super fun. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and um, subscribe to my mailing list. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's in the, the description below, but um, I'll add it to the description. <laughs> and for all future descriptions, I'll put my mailing list in there because in case you haven't noticed, some people just lose their Instagram accounts <laughs> um, or Facebook and, and get hacked, like Mike Jen. I saw a video today. Shannon also lost Instagram account, and Charlotte and Luke. And I, I have personal friends who've just lost access to their account. Um, so it's good to kind of spread things out a bit. So if you sign up to my mailing list, I will let you know when I'm doing live streams and stuff. Um, you can also find it, if it's not in the description, you want to go there right now, you could go to my website, um, dylansara.com, and you can sign up to my mailing list there. Um, yeah, and just thank you so much for being here. I always love this opportunity to, to hang out, drawing together. Thank you to my special friends who came to Zoom, including uh, Louisa's background, cooing pigeons. Um, it's, it's always not <laughs> put them to bed. Um, yeah. It's, I always, always love having people just sitting at the table with me in Zoom. Even, even if you don't speak, it's just nice having you here. Um, it's just nice knowing that we're, we're sitting and doing this together. So thanks so much, everyone. Have a great weekend. Um, and see you next time. You can come sketch, sketch with me on Tuesday if you like. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Wait a minute, I press the wrong button here, end stream. Thank you, dear friends of the internet. <laughs>